pop the video. Let's back this up and let's start from the beginning here, huh? Okay, so you remember the issue we had with the bicycle back when we were leaving San Diego? Well, this wasn't the issue, but I discovered that I had two screws that had sheared off on the axle plate on my rear hub. Petra and I walked around Ensenada all day going to different places to get these screws removed. In the end, we had to ship it back to America via DHL. We paid for the two-day shipping, but DHL gave us the eight-day express. We make the most of our time here in Ensenada. We explore the Melicon and the Marina. We see the largest flag in Mexico. We visit the museum and walk the gardens. We discover and walk along the Baja 1000 Walk of Fame. We push somebody's stranded car out of traffic. We eat a lot of great food and even more street food. We go grocery shopping. We cook our own food. We have lunch with a pigeon. Okay, not really, but we thought it was funny to share this. And, and most importantly, every morning we get up, we walk to the corner to the Osho and get our morning coffee. We make arrangements to have our wheels shipped to a friend in San Diego. We take an early bus from Ensenada back to Tijuana. We walk across the border. I get my wheel and we hop on the tram back to the border. We walk across the border and we catch the bus back to Ensenada. And that is that. Our extended downtime in Ensenada comes to an end, but not before we stay another day to watch the ceremonial start of the 2021 Baja 1000 race. Playing a little frogger here. So, that's that. Ensenada is now in our rear view mirror. About five and a half miles from uh, where we've been staying. And uh, yeah, we're on Highway 3, crossing over to pick up uh, Highway 5 and then go south towards uh, San Felipe and further. Whew, yeah, if I sound like I'm a little winded, it's probably lack of being on the bicycle for a couple weeks and we're going from sea level to i think today like 2700 feet and it's the whole time we're climbing so it's going to be just a slow uh slow grind today
morning. So we just spent the night at uh, Ojos Negros. Cute little hotel there we stayed in. Very nice, highly recommend if you're passing this way. Uh, and uh, we ate in a little family restaurant. It's like Mama's Kitchen called, Ro was it Rosarita's or Rosita's? Rosita. Rosita. We had uh, dinner there last night and this morning breakfast. And yeah, you can't beat a good home cooking and the price was just right. So yeah, anyway, we're headed out of here and going to Lazaro something or another. I can't pronounce the second word, Cabernet or something like that. So today's ride is about, like I said, I think it's about 52 miles, 85-ish kilometers. Uh, when we leave this little valley that we're in, or we'll be climbing again, I think we have about 2,000 more feet of climbing, or 15, 1,600 feet maybe, that's what it is. I know our, our high point's supposed to be around 4,000 feet. And after that, it's pretty much downhill to the other side of the Baja, down to the, uh, the Gulf there. So, uh, yeah, enjoying the ride, enjoying the food, the hospitality. It's all good, wouldn't you say? Yep. All right, here we go. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that behind me, straight back there, is a military checkpoint. We rode through there yesterday and then made our left in the Ojos Negros. But uh, they just waved us right through, no problem. They were actually searching another vehicle that was heading outward towards Ensenada. So we know, uh, we know we have another one on Highway 5 for sure. There may be some in between, but yeah, we know for sure the next one that we'll be going through is over on Highway 5, going south towards San Felipe. So anyway, just so you know, if you ever decide to come this way, expect it. It's all good, don't be freaked out.
All right. So, between our kindergarten Spanish, we, we got a hold of the owner and they'll be here in about 15 minutes. And we should have a place to stay for tonight. Um, okay. Hopefully, well, we haven't seen the price yet. It's pretty, pretty neat little place though. I'll take you in here and show it to you real quick. It actually had pretty good reviews. Um, what we looked up last night in Ojos Negros. So anyway, while we're waiting for the uh, owner to show up, quick rundown of today, about 53 miles, 2,700 feet worth of climbing, and about five and a half hours of saddle time. Actually did pretty good, surprisingly, compared to yesterday. And we got, we got our butts kicked yesterday, so. But yeah, man, this morning we got up, had a great breakfast. I think that's key, having a perfect breakfast. And then, you, boom, we got on the road. Lots of thumbs ups, lots of honking, friendly honking. Even the military, when they go by, it's, it's all good. It's, it's pretty good. So, yeah, and crossing the desert can have its challenges. It's not our first time crossing the desert. In 2015, after we got from Vietnam, yeah, we cycled from San Diego all the way back to Florida. And so we spent a long time crossing the desert. So... It's a little trickier here because it does seem to be a little more remote so so far and this is only our second full day so i'm sure as we get further down baja it's going to become even more remote so anyway it's all good um there's a restaurant attached we hope they're open tonight if not we'll go down we're in a pretty decent sized looking town it looks like so we're able to go downtown and grab some some food so yeah good ride how do you feel a little tired but much better than yesterday yesterday was terrible so. and i think here's the owner all right i think our owner's here we're gonna see if we can get a room see ya That's very cute. Right on. All right, home sweet home for the night. Yep. If you liked our video, please consider supporting our channel by rolling over that like button, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and as always, feel free to share our videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.